hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today's video is another special hair treatment video and this treatment contains just two ingredients this treatment is going to help stimulate your hair growth work on your scalp this treatment will also help retain your length by preventing your hair from breaking and fasting your hair growth So guys, let's get started. Our first ingredient is dry rosemary leaf. Rosemary is very beneficial for healthy hair growth. It works by stimulating blood on the scalp and also used to grow longer hair, prevent baldness, stimulate new growth in the balding area. And most importantly, rosemary helps to treat alopecia. If you want to improve your hair growth and your hair thickness, rosemary is a great choice to consider. Thanks to its ability to improve cellular generation, rosemary performs as well as minocidal, a common hair growth treatment, but with a less side effect. Up next, we have our dry sage leaf. This shade is very, very beneficial. You can take it in. Anybody that come across this leaf is a very powerful leaf for health. And the nutrient in this leaf is a very fantastic leave-in hair spray for hair. It helps to restore moisture, it helps to prevent hair freeze and leave your hair soft, smooth and glossy. And also, it also works well in detangling the hair. Sage leaf is one of the luckiest things we have as humans because this sage leaf contains a lot of good nutrients for health. Sage leaf are chock full of antioxidants and also help to promote hair growth as it helps to stimulate the blood and the scalp. So let's get started. All you need is a clean jar and a hot water. When I mean hot water, I mean water that actually boils to 100 degrees. Very hot water out from the fire. So all you have to do is transfer your hot water into your um your jar. Please use a bottle jar if you have one because it is it's easy to infuse anything in a bottle jar. So go in with your I use three tablespoon of sage leaf and three tablespoon of my rosemary leaf so at this point the measurement depends on what you want or depend on how long or how short your hair is this treatment is something you can do as much as you can and preserve it you can preserve this for at least three weeks so for my measurement i am using three tablespoons of sage leaf and three tablespoons of rosemary leaf and the water in this jar is about two cup so all i do is uh Put in these leaves and turn it inside this hot water. Make sure you're turning it well and make sure everything is sitting perfectly in the water. At this point, you can see that the color will instantly start changing to light brown. You go ahead and cover this and let it sit for as long as you can. You guys can see how hot the water is. You can actually see the, the vapor coming out of it. Make sure you stir it very well. Make sure every leaf is soaked inside the water. You go ahead and cover it up. So at this point, this mixture is still hot. You guys can see literally burn my hand. So I will let it sit. You can let your sit as long as you want. I made this video around 9 in the morning. And I strained it out around 3 in the afternoon. That's like 5 to 6 hours. You can let it infuse for as long as you want because the more the ingredients in this leaf infuse into the water, the more potent it becomes. So you can leave it for as long as you can. But I left mine for just six hours. And you guys can see that the water just changed to brown. I believe that if you leave this longer, it's going to change to darker brown. So at this point, I went ahead and transferred it into my spring bottle. Like I said earlier, sage leaf is one of the best things nature has given to us, also rosemary. And you can also treat alopecia, loss of hair, hair thinning with this treatment. So I'll go ahead and just add a, a full cup of my black castor oil just to add small moisture to it and this treatment is ready. This treatment contains two great ingredients, rosemary and sage leaf. And these are two powerful ingredients and this can do wonder to your hair. So this is what my hair look like. My hair is definitely clean. I like to spray my spray on the clean hair so that I can work well for my hair. My hair don't like to cooperate to treatment when it is dirty. So I usually would spray my spray or my hair treatment on a clean hair. And if it's the one I have to wash out, then I, I don't mind doing it on a dirty hair because I will still wash it out. But if I'm leaving it in, I, I do it on a clean hair. And this treatment is a leave-in. Like you can actually leave this inside of your hair with no effect. So I went ahead and sprayed this on my scalp and also on my hair strand. 
The both ingredients contain antioxidant nutrients, which means they help to stimulate the blood on your scalp, which help to fasten your hair growth. So I also spray this on my scalp and my hair strand. I just use my hand and massage it into my hair. And like I used to tell you guys, if you want to retain length, pay attention to the ends of your hair. I'll go ahead and spray this to the ends of my hair because this help for hair loss and also reduce hair breakage. So this will just keep your hair strong and help prevent your hair from breaking. So guys, this is my papaya leaf hair moisturizer. You can use it as a sealing because it contains butter and oil. So the video of the moisturizer will be in my description box. So I'm just going to use it to seal in this treatment into my hair and make sure it sink in into my hair. And this uh, moisturizer is also going to help it last long in my hair. And because this treatment is purely liquid, it's water, so it will be easy to dry out of my hair. So that's why you need a hair sealant to seal in the, the treatment into your hair so that it will stay there for a longer time. So like I said earlier, I went ahead and applied this to all part of my hair, my scalp. Like your scalp should be the first place you apply this because it's very, very good for blood circulation. So spray it on my end and that's how I did to the entire part of my hair. And I also want to mention that those that follow my six month hair growth journey, just in case you're watching for the first time, me and my subscribers, we are on a six month hair growth journey. So if you want to join this hair growth journey, you can as well still join. We still have five months to go. We started this challenge last month and it's going to end in December. We want to know how healthy and how long you can grow your hair in six months. So if you're on this challenge with me already, you don't want to miss out this particular treatment. Like I told you guys, one of the rules of this challenge is that you should be able to follow some of my video here that I share here on my channel. I upload video four times in a month. So that is every Sunday of every week. So you can do at least two of my videos. So if you're following this challenge, this is the first video of this month so this one of the video you don't want to miss out and it's very simple and it's something you can get around your area so please consider doing this because it's going to help you a lot when it comes to stimulating your scalp and also protecting your hair from getting damaged breaking or shedding so guys so guys uh just in case you're tuning in for the first time on my channel all i do on my channel is i share a lot about natural hair how to use natural ingredients everything about natural hair how to care for your natural hair treat your natural hair yourself and if this kind of content you like to watch says please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and and don't forget to turn up the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post so guys this is how my hair look like compared to what looking at at the beginning when we started my hair looks soft and so much alive so guys that's the end of today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys